Well, hi there, boys and girls. Today we're going to take a look at how to go backwards from differentiating trig functions, and we're going to integrate them. So I'm going to give you the formula for these two forms, and so that you know that I'm not playing the hoodoo on you, uh, you can ask me in class tomorrow about how I got those, and I can develop the formulas for you. But to keep this video as short as possible, I'm just going to tell you that if you have an integral that's in this form, where du over the square root of a squared minus u squared, where a is a constant, then this answer is going to be the arc sine of u over a plus c. And I'm not just making that up. All right, so if we have the integral of du over a squared plus u squared, this one has an answer of 1 over a times the arc tan of u over a plus c. And again, I can show you where this formula comes from. I can develop this for you. So let's just take a look at some examples. We've got a form here. I've got dx over the square root of 4 minus x squared. And you can see it matches this first formula pretty nicely. Let's just see what the a and the u and the du would equal. The a would obviously be the square root of 4, which is 2. And our u would equal the square root of x squared, which is x. And now we need to find out what our du is. We take the derivative of our u equals x equation, and we get that du dx is equal to 1, which means that du and dx are identical to each other. So this turns into the integral of du over the square root of a squared, because 2 squared is 4, minus u squared, because x squared is x. And we have that exact formula there. So my answer is the arc sine of u over a. And my u was x, and my a was 2, and then plus e. So that was a nice, easy example. Let's take a look and see what happens if du is not exactly equal to dx. Again, I've got a fraction of square root in this form. And so it looks like this top equation, but let's go through our substitution and see what each thing will be. Our a would be 2 again. Our u would be 5x, because 5x, when you square it, you square the 5 and you square the x, you get 25x squared. So what is du dx? Well, du dx is 5. And I don't have a 5 up here, so I've got to rearrange this and say 1 fifth du is equal to dx. So let's go through our substitution here. So we are going to have the integral of 1 fifth du over the square root of a squared minus u squared. So we get it in that form and we just apply our formula. So this is 1 fifth times the arc sine of u over a, where u was 5x and a was 2, plus c. All right, let's take a look at the other formula. Here I do not have a square root and I don't have a minus. And so this is going to fit our arctan formula better. You know, you might try u prime over u, but if you let u equal 9 plus x squared, then your du is 2x, and that's, that's too much for this up here. So you might try an arctan. So let's go through that. Our a would equal 3, the square root of 9. Our u would equal x. And our du, dx is 1. I'm going to go ahead and cross multiply and say that du is equal to dx. And then since u and x are equal, whether this is x equals square root of 3 or u equals the square root of 3, they're the same thing. So I don't have to go through when x equals the square root of 3, u equals the square root of 3, and when x equals 3, u equals 3. They're, they're both either their u or x is they're the same number. So this is going to be the integral from the square root of 3 to 3, that's a 3, of 1 over a squared plus u squared and d. So my answer to this is 1 over a times the arctan of u over a. And instead of plus c, we have a definite integral here. And we're going from square root of 3 up to 3. So we have 1 over a, which is 1 third, times the arctan of u over a which is going to be x over 3. And then our 3 gets plugged in, and that's going to be 3 over 3. 
and then minus, we just gonna put this one third in front of everything. Then we plug in our square root of three and we're gonna get the arctan of the square root of three over three. Now, we need to answer these angles. The arctan of a, of a number, we need to figure out that angle. Three over three is just one and the arctan of one is pi over four. And the arctan of square root of three over three is pi over six. If you struggle with how I got those, just let me know and I can explain to you those with the triangle. Now the difficult one is whenever it's not in a squared plus u squared form in the bottom, and I've got something that can't be factored, so we're gonna have to do something called completing the square. You saw this in algebra one, you saw it in algebra two, and here's an application of why we need this. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have the integral of dx over x squared minus 4x, and I'm gonna leave a space, and I'm gonna put my seven over here at the end. And if you remember this process, you take the square root of the middle term, and sorry, that's incorrect. You take half the middle term and square that. Half of negative four is negative two, negative two squared is plus four. Now before you freak out on me and tell me I can't just add four to the bottom of a fraction, I'm gonna go over here and subtract four at the end. So technically I've just added zero to the bottom. Now why would I go through all of that trouble? Well, because I have created a perfect square trinomial right here. And that's going to be x minus two squared. And seven minus four is three, and I'll put it in our form three plus x minus two squared. And so I have created our arctan form. So, what is your a? Well, a is going to be the square root of three, and our u is x minus two. What is our du? Well, our du dx is one, so du and dx are equal to each other. So I've turned this into the integral of du over a squared plus u squared. And so now I can answer this. This is one over a, where a is the square root of three, times the arctan of u over a, plus c. All right, looks like we've got just one more example to go through. And here I've got a definite integral. I've got an arc cosine, which we dealt with yesterday, over the square root of one minus x squared. Now this would probably be an arc sine integral if this top part were not an arc cosine. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna let u equal the top because I sort of remember that the derivative of arc cosine looks something like this on the bottom. So if I let u equal the arc cosine of x, sorry about that O there, then what is du dx? Well, we learned yesterday that du dx is going to equal negative one over the square root of one minus x squared. And this is where we wanna look back at our original problem and can we solve this differential equation for dx over the square root of one minus x squared? And of course we can. This means that negative du is equal to one over the square root of one minus x squared times dx. Now what about the fact that du and dx were not equal to each other? Um, I'm gonna turn my these x values into u values. So when x equals zero, well hi there, Molly, you happened to email me at exactly at the time I was making a video. So Molly gets a shout out, sorry Eli and Peter. So when x equals zero, u is going to equal the arc cosine of 0, which is pi over 2. And when x equals the square root of 2 over 2, u is going to equal pi over 4. So this turns into the integral from pi over 2 up to pi over 4. Now that's sort of weird because we're going from big to small, but we can fix that. We know how to do that. Of negative u du. This is the negative du, and this right here, the arc cosine of x is just u. So this answer is, I'm, well, let's go ahead and flip that. Let's flip this into the integral from pi over 4 to pi over 2 of u du. 
Now this is just u to the first, so my antiderivative is u squared over two evaluated from pi over four to pi over two. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna plug our numbers in and we won't finish that, we won't simplify it at all. So we'll plug our pi over two in first, so pi over two squared, and one half of that of course, minus one half of pi over four squared. Weird answer, but we're not simplifying. No, sir. That's not simplify and no, sir. You see what I did there? Huh? Okay, anyway, I'll see you guys tomorrow.